Let's go through what I recommend for a good skincare routine, the solids, the basics, and then what you can do if you want to up-level your skincare game in products that are evidence-based, science-backed. But now we're going to get something that we're going to move into the next phase. So get set. Okay, so let's do your morning routine. You wake up in the morning, you just worked out, you're gross, so you're gonna cleanse your face, you're gonna dry it off and put a vitamin C on. Now that skincare is starting to evolve very quickly, I also wanna add in some ones that I think are getting a lot more traction than they used to because we're learning more about the evidence. But in the evening time, you should be cleansing off Okay, most influencers are making your skincare routine way too hard to follow and overly complicated and might be damaging your skin, to be honest. I'm Premptropathy, I'm a facial plastic surgeon. Let's go through what I recommend for a good skincare routine, the solids, the basics, and then what you can do if you wanna up-level your skincare game in products that are evidence-based, science-backed, and the most confusing thing is how to layer these products. Is there actually science to it? Does it really matter how we layer these products or is it just made up? Some of it is and some of it isn't just to give you a preview of it. So first things first, the absolute basics of skincare. Remember, your skin is constantly being bombarded with pollution from the environment, UV light, um, light from, you know, ambient light in the room, which may or may not have a little bit of risk to your skin. And then just regular metabolism and getting older every single day. The slowing of cell turnover as you get older with time, darkening of the skin, it just changes a lot. And skincare, believe it or not, can have a huge impact in maintaining the quality, the integrity of your skin, building collagen, preventing collagen breakdown, and maintaining any results you do in the office. And it can seem frustrating because you aren't putting on a product and seeing an immediate result, but you are in it for the long-term game. So you're really not putting on skincare to see something tomorrow. It's a long-term investment in seeing things for years and years to come. Let me break down for you what I think is a solid basic routine. It's two products, it's all you need. It is a cleanser and a sunscreen. That's mostly what you need. You could consider a moisturizer in the afternoon, but say in the morning, if you're a morning cleanser type of person, cleanse your face and then dry it, put on your sunscreen. Sunscreen should always be the last thing you put on your face in the morning because the way sunscreens work is not only by absorbing UV light, but by, but by creating a film on your skin. That is what creates a lot of that protection for your face. And that is why throughout the day that film starts to break down. It's really not because the ingredients themselves are breaking down, it's that film on your face. So sunscreen should be the last thing you put on your face. If you're not a morning cleanse person, just throw the sunscreen on in the morning. But in the evening time, you should be cleansing off. In the evening time, you should be cleansing off all of your makeup, sunscreen, and using a moisturizer just because the skin likes water to keep your skin hydrated, help with fine lines and wrinkles, and to prevent water loss in the skin. Super basic, very reasonable. Sunscreens can be purchased for under $10 at most large retail stores. You can get big bottles of sunscreen as can as a basic moisturizer can too. So it's really not a question of affordability at this point. Most sunscreens can be very easily applied. You just have to find one that you really, really like. Now, if you've hit your core and you're trying now to incorporate really evidence-based actives into your skincare, I want to dial you into some very important ones and they're probably things you've heard about before, but now that skincare is starting to evolve very quickly, I also wanna add in some ones that I think are getting a lot more traction than they used to because we're learning more about the evidence. So a morning routine that in my mind is a very sound morning routine is if you cleanse, you don't have to, but a vitamin C serum, which vitamin C can help with improving the protection from the sun helping with pollution and free radicals, all of the things that are damaging your skin throughout the day. And in the evening, a retinoid. Now retinoids come in all shapes and sizes. It can be retinol, retinal, or prescription. But a, a retinoid is going to help with skin turnover. And it's really the king of all skincare products other than sunscreen. It helps with acne, it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, it helps with texture. The only things that are FDA approved for that are prescription retinoids. But in general, a retinol is, or retinoid is a very, sound, tried and true product in skincare. Formulations vary greatly. Irritation scales vary, very great, very greatly too, but we will find you one that you like. You might need a little guidance, but we'll find you one that you like. Now, once we are incorporating those, we are now into the advanced skincare game. We are consistent with our sunscreen every day because without sunscreen, don't use any other actives. We are using a vitamin C in the morning and a retinoid in the evening. 
But now we're gonna get into improving the skin at a much more high intensity level. We're gonna incorporate actives now that are gonna further build collagen, further brighten the skin, and further just improve the texture and quality. So in the morning, if you truly want improved evenness of the skin, and you have brown spots, a prescription suppression of pigment, a pigment suppressor, is what gives you that result. That is hydroquinone. I know it has a lot of you know drama around it, but hydroquinone at 4% can be prescribed. It is a phenomenal topical agent for improving brown spots and evening out your skin tone. And it can be applied in the morning or the evening. In the evening time, a prescription retinoid is tretinoin or tazerotene. Both of these are prescription retinoids. They are, again, phenomenal. They are oftentimes cheaper than using a cosmetic retinol, but they are they put you more at risk for irritation because they're in their most active form. But we are going to move on now past that. We're going to move on to the final boss, the most advanced skincare routine from a facial plastic surgeon that I think is going to get you phenomenal results. But I don't recommend starting right at this point because up until now, we've incorporated, you know, a few, uh, an ingredient here or there to get your skin used to it. So you know what irritates you, what doesn't irritate you and what works for you. But now we're going to get something that we're going to move into the next phase. So get set. Okay, so let's do your morning routine. You wake up in the morning, you just worked out, you're gross, so you're gonna cleanse your face, you're gonna dry it off and put a vitamin C on, then you're gonna use hydroquinone, if you want hydroquinone, or a non-hydroquinone skin brightener, and then a growth factor. Now, I use growth factors lightly. You can use peptides, which are cut up little proteins that can help stimulate collagen. You can use topical exosomes, which have specific delivery systems to get into your skin, but I like these growth factors and peptides because even though they don't have the best data yet, the current emerging data is phenomenal for them and it's really taking skincare to the next level and becoming more scientific and less on the cosmetic side, which I love. Then after you're done with that, a moisturizer and then a sunscreen. Again, always sunscreen last. If you don't have time for anything that morning, just the sunscreen is sufficient. At nighttime now, we are gonna go put on all the cleanser, get all that stuff off. We're gonna put on our retinoid on fully dry skin. Then you can add your growth factors and your moisturizer. So this is gonna do a bunch of different things. You're gonna protect your skin in the morning. You're gonna help it with free radical damage. You're gonna brighten the skin. You're gonna build collagen and you're gonna protect from the sun. And in the evening time, you're gonna turn over that skin, repair it and moisturize and nourish the skin as you're healing throughout the night. Because at night is usually, night is theoretically when there's more collagen being produced. But let me talk to you about the order. The, the, this, the order of skincare, there's some science to this, but a lot of it's actually just BS. So the thought is that you go from thinnest to thickest. I like that for the morning because you really should be putting on your sunscreen last and sunscreen tends to be the thickest product you put on. And I like that your vitamin C goes on first because vitamin C is an active ingredient and it, it's nice to have that on your skin first before you put anything else on. But remember, there are components in your skincare that are water soluble, meaning they're soluble in water. Um, and then there are lipid soluble ones, which are gonna get into the nucleus of the cell. They're gonna get deeper into your skin. And so if you have a water, water soluble ingredient on your face, it's probably gonna be fine to get into your skin. And you're gonna have other you know, active ingredients that are diffusing in different, you know, different planes. So it, sometimes this doesn't matter. I think if you're applying 10 things onto your skin, your last ones may not be absorbing much depending on what's in there. The nighttime, I like to put on my tretinoin first. Now tretinoin is thicker than maybe like a brightening serum or a growth factor serum, but I want my tretinoin to go on fully dry skin. I feel like that's going on because it's the most active, but honestly, if you put it on after a moisturizer, there's not a lot of data that says that it's going to be less effective and it probably will irritate your skin less. I don't have sensitive skin totally yet. So if you decide that your skin is a bit sensitive and you wanna put it on after it, that's fine too. But then Thinnest to thickest is still fine. You could put on your growth factor serums, you could put on your hydrating serums, your moisturizers, and your tretinoin in that order. Um, but I, to me, I think the evening is probably a little less important in terms of that. The most important thing for the evening time is moisture for your skin after you've cleansed it. But again, tretinoin, tried and true, or any kind of retinol, super tried and true at turning over the skin. The last thing that I think is very important that people incorporate into their skin is some type of exfoliating acid. Now, glycolics, lactics, mandelics, these types of acids do a few things. They, they 
disrupt that glue that sort of holds together dead skin cells to reveal brighter skin. They also can suppress pigmentation and they help with texture. It's not something you want to overdo because it can irritate your skin if you overdo it. But if you're doing chemical exfoliation once or twice a week, as long as you can tolerate it and you're consistent with it, the texture and tone of your skin are going to improve and the, the products probably are going to penetrate better into your skin. Okay, to sum up, the best things you can do for your skin are to be consistent. Being consistent with any routine that you have that is not irritating your skin is gonna give you the best results. And if you're gonna pick anything to be consistent with, a sunscreen is the most important, followed by your vitamin C and your retinoids, and then up level it as needed with active ingredients that are evidence-based and science-backed. And if you wanna have a little fun, try the peptides and growth factors. I think you're gonna really like the results. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow for more. See you next time.